Yeah, front and center inflationary concerns. Lizanne, what are you telling your clients to do about the inflation quandary and, and what stocks to be in and which ones to be out of? Well, I, I would agree with what Mike said with regard to the rotational nature of this market, which sometimes seems to key directly off inflation concerns, even if it's not necessarily in reaction to inflation data and other days there are other explanations. I think we the, the inflation picture, I think, changed the landscape in terms of broader rotations. We went from the lower quality bias in January into the mid part of February. And that's not terribly abnormal. When you see the market start to price in a really significant surge in economic growth, you move to that lower quality uh, set of areas where the leverage is greatest to the upturn. And then that eventually gives way to more of a fundamentals, in this case, value factor orientation. So what we've been telling investors is that even though there's always a lot of focus on sectors, which ones do well or not in an inflation environment, we think factors will be more important to leadership and consistency in leadership than that sector uh, decision. And I think the value-oriented factors, which have been a winning strategy for the past year, can be applied to not only traditional value oriented sectors, but even value factors have been outperforming within the growthier sector. So in a rising interest rate, rising inflation environment, you want to focus on the factor of value, but apply it to every segment of the market. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.